Hey, what's going on Gravity Falls fans and welcome to another Gravity Falls theory video, finally. And I know it's been a while and I apologize for that, but now I am back and it's time to resume the Gravity Falls amazing awesomeness. And of course, some other videos as well, because I have been working on my Steven Universe videos as well as my Star vs. the Forces of Evil videos. And I need to catch up with Star vs. the Forces of Evil. So far, I have finally seen every single episode of SU and now it's time for Star vs. the Forces of Evil. So don't worry, the videos are on their way and let's continue on with this video. Yeah! Alright, so let's start off with the fact that in all honesty, something told me deep down that this Bill Cipher hunt was more than meets the eye. And I'm not gonna lie to you and say that I made up this theory myself. One day I was surfing around YouTube and came up to one of Vascovan's videos. Included in the comment section was a mind-blowing discovery. He or she basically explains that Bill is indeed inside of Stanley and the hunt that took place only confirmed this conspiracy a bit more. Another theorist called CP Games has even theorized a part of this before the Cypher hunt even ended. The theory is that while Bill was indeed erased out of Stanley's mind temporarily, Cypher's last words invoking Axolotl saved both him and Stanley. This would explain why Stanley miraculously gains his memory back so magically and... Disney-like a little too nicely. I mean, I'm not gonna sit here and tell you that I didn't appreciate the ending exactly, and I loved the whole Mabel scrapbook continuity and all, but you know what? It, it ended a little too... okay casual. And even with the real life edition of Journal 3, not every single question was exactly answered. And please don't spam me with hate in the comment section for saying all this. I mean, even the outro was just too pop and happy. I feel like the writers purposely made it so happy to make us feel like it really did end so great. I mean, not great, what, what's another word to describe it? Oh yeah, joyous. But of course, this is only a part of the full commenter's theory. Another thing is that the audio inside of the chest with the USB of Brunkle Stan congratulating the winner not only includes him singing We'll Meet Again by Vera Lynn, but also includes this. Hey guys, congratulations on Finding my uh, the mysterious treasure of the, the statue in the forest. Um, anyway, you know, take a picture with the statue. Get, shake his hand, that's kind of like a prize. Wait a minute, what did he just say? See how Ellen said, Get, shake his hand, that's kind of like a prize. Shake his hand. Okay, so why would Stanley all of a sudden slip in the fact that the winner could shake its hand? And most of all, why would he say my statue? Sort of like in the real life edition of Journal 3, Bill would even call certain things his, like the Nightmare Realm. And even though Stanley does indeed sound like himself in a way, who else would know how Stanley behaves? Bill Cipher. Alright, so let me explain. Remember the episode Dreamscaperers? This could even be a bit of a long shot, but maybe. Just maybe, Bill learned a thing or two from his mind. You know, what makes him laugh, happy, ticked off, whatever it may be. But it's not just the episode Dreamscaperers. Bill has been in the shack for years now, and he understands how just about everyone acts. However, this theory can still be debunked, considering the fact that at the end, we never really see Stanley make these movements, like how he did to Dipper when he took over his body. But at the same time, who knows? Maybe Bill Cipher knew that would be a dead giveaway and actually disguise himself instead of Stanley. Stanley's body. And there goes Bill, learning the way Stan talks and acts just to later in the future deceive his way back up to where he was before. Complete control. And it's either that or maybe the statue got touched by someone else or had its hand shaken by someone else. And just knowing how loony everyone can be in Gravity Falls, that just might happen in the future. I'm not really implying that everything that happened to Bill was pre-planned, but Cypher's coming back because somebody had already shaken the statue's hand during the Cypher hunt. And that person was me. Okay, no, not really. It wasn't me. Just forget about everything I just said. Well, that, my friends, is the end of this video. Please give credit to this person right here and like this video if you somewhat enjoyed it. This has been The Next Big Thing, signing out.